Hallo, ich bin Claudia Fröhling vom Java Magazin. Ich bin hier auf der Jax 2014 in Mainz und bei mir ist Wille Ingmann. Hi Wille, nice hey, to meet you. Hey Claudia, nice to meet you too. Could you introduce yourself please? Okay, sure. Hey everyone, it's Wille Ingmann from the Vardin team. A Finnish guy, lost in Germany here. <laughs> so um, I've been in the Vardin team for over 10 years already. So one of the old boys in the team. And uh, this year I got an opportunity to uh, talk about Vardin here at Tax Conference. So thank you for the Sure. For the opportunity. You don't look that old. Nah. <laughs> I was just really, really young when I started. <laughs> yeah, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a talk today about Vardin. Um, and I think you started with an interesting question. What is the right rec web framework for me? Mm, Which is yeah. a tough question. Oh yeah, definitely. And you said uh, the bad, the worst quest uh, answer to it is it depends. Mm -hmm. Because that doesn't answer anything. Yeah. And then you got to the um, to talk about the abstraction level to know what the right framework is for you. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, actually, this was something I really wanted to bring up in the talk. So uh, everybody wants to know what is a good web framework and how it seems, you know, how the discussions go here at the conference and you know people I meet is that they they just look at web frameworks as just web frameworks and uh, they want to they pick something that sounds cool and they evaluate them all. In Which is a thousand frameworks. Yeah, exactly. Or, or something that co seems cool or interesting. And people entirely skip the fact that they don't think about the actual, you know, characteristic, kind of mm -hmm. the fundamental ideas of different web frameworks and what is designed for what purpose. So in the talk, I tried to uh, bring this up a bit and uh, separate the web frameworks from each other, like what is good for websites, kind of content-centric mm -hmm. stuff, and what is a good for um, web applications. So those are really different animals. And uh, when you do your evaluation, you should understand the characteristics of these frameworks you are evaluating. So evaluate between frameworks that are suitable for your actual use case mm -hmm. and not just all of them. That sounds cool. So uh, you're going to hurt yourself <laughs> if you just, you know, you pick one and you try to do everything with that. Mm -hmm. That's not the way to go. And if you say we got a low abstraction level and a high, where's Vardin? Vardin is on the, on the top level, most high abstraction level framework. So what I mean with a high abstraction level is that you actually don't really see any of the low level stuff like, mm -hmm. you know, the dome structure or plain JavaScript or, or things like that. Web technologies, you are not face to face with them all the time. So Vardin abstracts them from, from you. So you just handle abstract things like a table component mm -hmm. and that comes you know, all the web technologies are built into the actual component, internals. So another important news, which is great, you just released uh, Vardin 7.2 here at JAX. Yeah, this is the Congrats. release party week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> JAX week is the release party week. Can you tell us a bit about <clears throat> the, the highlights or new features? Are there any? Yeah, so basically the 7.2 is, is introducing the, uh, um, this responsive layouts for Vardin. Vardin. So uh, this is something that seems to be a pretty hot topic at the moment. So everybody is talking about how you do responsive design and uh, for different size of screens or terminals. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is introduced as built in to Vardin 7.2. And also we introduced the Internet Explorer 11 support mm -hmm. and Windows Phone 8.1 mm -hmm. with pointer events as well. And also a new mechanism for the server push now you can do long polling as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. So uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good release. But anyways, this is going to be a really intense release summer uh, the next month. So to speak. I saw the roadmap. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And I think it's seven point three that will have the new Valo uh, design, yeah, which yeah. is the UI stuff. Yeah. That gets back to the abstraction level somehow because it's on the high level stuff, right? Mm -hmm, can you mm -hmm. tell us a bit about Valo? Yeah, Valo is something that. Um, well, it's, it's a new theme, new look and feel. And we introduced SAS in Vardin some time ago, but we haven't yet introduced a fully SAS-based mm -hmm. theme. So Valo will be this one. Okay. And basically what Valo will have is probably going to be kind of set of variables in the beginning of your CSS files. Mm -hmm. And just altering those variables, you can probably hit 90% of your corporate style guide 
requirements already without actually touching any CSS. Mm -hmm. So that's a huge leap towards you know good uh, look and feel on your violin application. So Java guys don't really compute that well with mm -hmm. good look and feel. So I think the Viola will be a good way to have a programmable approach for a good looking web application. To make it easier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, by the way, we got mo tomorrow the Java 8 day. Is there any um, crossing point between Wadin, because you said Java developers, and the Java 8 features? Yeah, I think Java 8 will be really appreciated among the Wadin community. Okay. So uh, I think the highest point is Lambdas, of course. Yeah. So um, Wadin is, is basically you declare quite a lot of different kind of listeners to events and all that. So Lambdas will de definitely put that on uh, in a new level. Mm -hmm. So uh, welcome Java 8. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone does. Yeah, apparently. <coughs> exactly. Um, yeah, maybe as last question, you're preparing the next, the second Quit Create yes. in San Francisco and Munich this time. Yeah, this time in Munich. Yeah. I was at Frankfurt at the mm -hmm. very beginning, which was great. Um, what's the planning? What's 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 going to be? Yeah, well, this, of course, it will be better, faster, stronger, <laughs> of course. Of course. But um, it's the second time we're having that. So now we have the call for papers is open, the mm -hmm. sign-ups are open. And uh, I think the concept will be pretty much uh, the same, you know, two-day conference. We have to see how much good proposals we're actually going to get. So we might change that, but let's see about that. But anyways, it's still going to be, you know, a really hardcore conference for Google Web Toolkit related technologies. So there's a lot of really deep dive discussions on, on a technology level. So, yeah, it's it's going to be a really interesting conference for UI developers that mm -hmm. somehow rely on Google Web Toolkit based technologies like Vardin or Centaur or um, Arai or mm -hmm. similar. So, the Google Web Toolkit 3 and Vardin 8, that's the, the marriage. Yeah, that, that <coughs> just they are they going to be in sync, and that's also on the conference. I think it was shown at the first conference that those two need to be in sync. Mm, and it yeah. just sounds right. Yeah, definitely. So, so uh, if everything goes okay, and like you know, I, how I like to see that is that uh, Quid three point would introduce a good support for web components. Mm -hmm. So that will actually change the game quite drama dramatically, and uh, to the towards the better, of course. So I think that is looking really promising kind of new foundation for the next you know few years mm -hmm. in the future that that releases really out uh, when this will come out that's a really good question again <laughs> so web components isn't supported at all more or less mm -hmm. with with browsers yet but it it shows a lot of potential definitely cool thanks for your time William thank you Claudia and have a great check oh yeah I'm definitely I will be having that awesome yeah. <laughs> thank you